Aside from hosting networking events, mentor programs, and professional workshops, we also have state-of-the-art recording studios, film editing and production capabilities, a photography studio, internet radio, and office space. Membership at the Institute helps artists harness their talent in the most effective ways. We are here to nurture relationships, develop artists, and strengthen the infrastructure that encompasses several forms of entertainment. At the Institute, we focus on creative expression, technical proficiency, and business development. New Orleans Media Arts Institute, explore the possibilities. All right, all right, all right. Make sure you check out the New Orleans Arts Media Institute, located right there on the campus of Southern University in New Orleans. Check them out. That is my brother's chemist mother, as well as my Todd Anderson. I also want to take a few time and moments out, another sponsor. I want to talk to you about Feather Me Pretty, LLC. Check out my sister and dear friend, Yvette Wilcox, and they're doing great shirts and products for ladies. They're doing great New Orleans things. Go out to Facebook to Feather Me Pretty, Feather Me Pretty LLC, and you can find out and you can see the pictures of the products and the beautiful shirts that they're doing. So please, 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 if you're located in the New Orleans area, and you don't have to be in New Orleans, all of you that are who that fans, go out there to Feather Me Pretty, as well as check out New Orleans Art Media Institute. Okay? So check out and patronize both of those businesses. Dear friends of mine. Hey, Professor. Yeah. We just got a message from Brendan. Uh, the game went into overtime, so he won't be able to make it for the Oh, yeah, we're about to wrap up. I have... I'll be about to wrap up because I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of static on my end, so I'm I'm gonna wrap it up in a few minutes. Okay, so let's go to the defense real quick, and then special teams on defense for the Saints. What is very very key for the defense is real simple: Can Nick Fairley and Tyler Davidson coming up the middle get a pass rush on Derek Carr? who disrupt the young quarterback in his third season, who played phenomenal on on last year. He was very, very phenomenal, and, and he's strong for 53 touchdowns in two years. So Derek Carr is an up-and-coming rising star in the NFL. And what's also very important is if Cam Jordan on the line can get a pass run because – if you give Derek Carr confidence with the receivers he have and Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree, they can eat you up. And now the Saints have a young secondary which will be tested. So what's important is with the front seven is that they get a pass rush. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on Fairley to see what Fairley and Tyler Davidson can do. And also with the new acquisition of Paul Kruger. Paul Kruger came from Saints from the Cleveland Browns. And let's see if Paul Kruger, Kruger can come in and make some plays and do some things that will help us and aid us in getting more of a pass rush. As well as Edobali. Edobali is another force that we're hoping that he continues to make the strides and improvement that he has been making. I'm also going to be keeping an eye on Leonidas as the new captain of the Saints linebacking court. And speaking of captains, shout out to Curtis Lofton, who will be playing for the Raiders. He was very successful being a captain for the Saints many years. So he'll be back there coaching the Raiders linebacking court. No, as they, well as Professor, they they released him. Curtis Lofton has gotten cut. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. So he, we won't see Curtis Lofton. Laronitis will be. Back there is our captain. Um, once again, Ellerby is out. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with Ellerby. Um, unfortunately, the gentleman just 
has bad luck. He just cannot stay healthy, and we really need Ellaby. But I don't know if this, the the LRB acquisition is going to work out because we're not able to be able to count on Ellaby on a regular basis, and we really, really need him. But I feel comfortable about Craig Robinson, acquisition from the Cleveland Browns also. And, and what he showed, Craig Robinson, has, I think, the best training camp and preseason of all the linebackers. So I think we'll be okay until LRB gets healthy. And then we have rookie sensation, Stephon Anthony. So I think the linebackers are the sense of the defense. Now, the secondary is where some questions may lie because it's a very young secondary. Um, Delvin Bro is the, in terms of cornerbacks, I should say, Delvin Bro is our statesman going into his second year. P.J. Williams, Crawley, Eric Harris, Devontae Harris are all rookies. And they're going to be called upon this year to help carry this defense in the terms of the secondary and the cornerback. Jairus Bird and Kenny Vaccaro are going into their third year of playing together. Let's just hope they can get some turnovers and that they will be able to be more, vaulting, you know, a tandem that works really strongly together. The jury is still out on Jairus Bird. But there are a lot of people that are still questioning Jairus Bird. So let's hope this year Jairus Bird can come through the way the Saints signed him back in 14, and paid him a heap of money, and unfortunately he's been injured. So I'm thinking this year may be the year that we see Jairus Bird that they had in Buffalo. Let's hope so. All right? So that's the defense. What's going to be crucial is, can this defense yell turnover? The preseason, we didn't see that many, and for the last couple of years, we have not seen a lot of turnovers by the same defense. So let's just hope can gel and make some turnovers. Okay? All right. So next we have special teams. Well, the key in this game, I believe, will be Marcus Murphy. I believe Marcus Murphy can be an X factor, given the same good field position on kickoff and punt. And I personally believe that Marcus Murphy will make a key play in this game. And I think he's overcome his jitter, and I'm believing that he will not have any fumbles and have any struggles holding on to the ball. But I, I just really, really, really like the young fella, and I'm thinking Marcus Perfect can be an X factor for a couple of plays. So I'm excited to see what he did his season opener. Moore said it's consistent. Last year he did not kick as well due to an injury. He is now healthy. But the biggest area that question mark is now going to be it was the thank move from Forbet to Lutz, a rookie kicker from Georgia State that will now be taking over the chores of being field goal kicker for the New Orleans Saints. And a move that was very, very questionable by a lot of analysts and by a lot of people. So we're going to find out real soon what was it that Coach Payton and what was it that Coach John Harbaugh of the Ravens stated to Payton why he recommended that the Saints select this guy as their resident field goal kicker over for that. So we're going to be keeping our eyes on him as a field goal kicker as well as the kickoff. Okay? All right. So we that's what we have in terms of special teams, the keys for the Saints, Marcus Murphy and Lux. In terms of defense, can we jail a pass rush? Any turnover? And then what we have on offense, we had Drew Brees at the time with an offensive line that looked leaky and shaky in preseason. Will they gel together and change that? Can we get any plays, big plays out of Spiller, Ingram, Hooks? You know, what kind of contributions will Thomas and Singer and Josh Hill make? If they all can gel and come together, you can have an offense that can be just as Fortunate as it was in 2011. But what looks good on paper does not always transcend on the field. So we're going to be keeping our eye on all of these players for this season opening game. All right, so keep your eyes on those things. And let's just hope that the New Orleans Saints can come away with an opening home victory. Now, one thing that's very important that was, a, was spoken about, you know, 
I thank on the coaches' office as well as thanks to radio, the fans. The fans, you've got to make the noise that you made during, during the years of 9, 10, 11, when the Saints were in their heyday. You've got, even 13, you've got to give back the home field or dome field advantage in the little Mercedes-Benz Louisiana Superdome. We've got to get back to, to, to making that noise that it will make Derek Carr nervous. He's never played in this type of venue. So don't feel advantage from the fans with opening up your voices and shouting loud to who that nation, you got to show up and come, come ready on Sunday because we need to get back to having don't feel advantage. We are four and nine over our last 13 games in the Dome. That's not good. At one time, we had won like 20-plus straight games at home. So what has happened since that streak? So we got to start a new streak and get back to dome field advantage. All right? So I'm going to take a commercial break, and then I'm going to wrap up this show. I want to talk to you guys about a company called Biz Pass Fast. There are any entrepreneurs or business owners in need in helping to take a look and streamline their profits to make their company more efficient and effective, and they also need additional capital to expand or grow their business, I recommend Biz Cash Fast. It's a consulting firm that specializes in assisting and aiding business owners, especially small business owners, that might not be able to get a hand from the big corporations that do consulting or the banks. Biz Cash Fast. For more information on Biz Cash Fast, call 678-369-1197. And go to their website at www.bizcastfast.com. That's www.bizcastfast.com. And biz is spelled B-I-Z. All right. Another company I want to talk to you about for any business owners that need an accounting services or need an accountant is the accounting firm and the consulting firm of DCS. And in finance, project management, and education. Four disciplines, one great company with a lot of integrity. So if you are a business owner or an individual that needs help with your taxes, have the IRS on your back, why not give DCS Consulting Services a call? Their website is www.dcsconsultingservices.com. That's dcsconsultingservices.com. If you need any information on any of our sponsors, New Orleans Arts Media Institute, that going to be pretty LLC, Biz Cash Fast LLC, or DCS Consulting Services, contact Paul and I at Thank News Radio, and we'll put you into contact with those corporations. All right, let's wrap up the show with two last segments. Coaching. Well, and in terms of coaching, it's real simple. Can Coach Sean Payton, our coach, former Saints linebacker, now Raider coach Jack Del Rio. Who can out Fox to? Jack Del Rio is known for defense. Coach Payton is known for offense. And can Dennis Allen revive, rejuvenate, and restore a deflated New Orleans Saints defense that has been at the bottom of the league for the last few years? So that's the question in the areas of coaching. Who will our coach you? Will the Saints outsmart themselves or overthink things or overplay themselves? Or will they play smart and we're with them? Because we know we have an aggressive coach, but at times we can be too aggressive and outsmart ourselves. So that's the matchup. Coach Payton versus Coach Del Rio. You know, and there's a lot of love for Coach Del Rio because he played in the black and gold and he was a good linebacker for the Saints. So there is some affection and love for Coach Jack Del Rio. We just don't want Coach Jack Del Rio to have any success on this given Sunday. We want the home the home team black and gold to come out with a victory. So keep an eye on who outsmarts who outsmart each other in terms of coaching. And on next week's show, I'll give you the grades on the Saints' performance in all areas, offense, defense, special teams, and coaching. All right, finally, let's go to pick some games. I don't have my list all in front of me. I'm trying to go off memory. 
I know I have the Green Bay Packers are playing the Jacksonville 